Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is day 4 of the Christmas time series and today I'm going to show you guys my bullet journal setup for 2021. I hope that you guys will enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's get started. For 2021, I decided to use a 6 ring binder. The one I use is actually from Artbox, I will put the link in the description box. I used the one with the clear glitter cover and I think it looks really pretty. And then I also want to hang a keychain on the side. So here I'm going to put on the cherry blossom keychain. This is available in my online store so if you guys are interested, I will put the link to my store in the description box. The binder cover originally didn't have any holes that I can use to hang my keychain, so I just punch it with my hole puncher. Alright, so now I'm going to start setting up my binder. So first, I'm going to open it, and here I'm putting in the cover that we made in my last video. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, be sure to watch it. And here, I'm also going to use the binder folder that we also made in my last video. I put it right after the cover page. For the paper refill, I decided to use regular printer paper, so I actually cut them out myself, and then I'm just going to put it into my binder. Other than that, I'm also going to put in my bookmark. Next, I'm going to make the key page, basically the page where I will write down the symbols that I use in my bullet journal. I actually already memorized the symbols, so this page is not really necessary for me, but I feel like it is not my bullet journal when I don't have any kind of key page on it, so I decided to make it anyway. And to write down the key, I'm actually going to use this pink dot pad and also my black gel pen. And then I'm going to stick it on the center of the page, but before that I'm going to use this blue and pink color washi tape just to add in a little bit of color. And to stick down the actual pink memo pad, here I'm going to use my glue tape. For more decoration, here I'm sticking down this really cute cherry sticker. And then I'm going to add in more washi tape to decorate it so that this page does not look that empty. And last, to indicate that this is the key page, I'm going to write it down using my letter sticker. As usual, here I'm using my gold gel pen to fill in the empty spaces. And now I'm done with the key page, I'm just going to flip it over and here I'm going to decorate the back side. Here, I'm taking a piece of illustration. I decided to go with this breakfast theme kind of illustration because I feel like it looks really cute. And now, I'm going to start decorating it. So here, I stick it on the center of the page and then I'm using some washi tape to add in more decoration and also to add in more colors. Next, I'm going to use this gold foil sticker for decoration because I feel like it looks really cute. But since it is kind of big, I decided to split it into two. And then I'm just going to stick it on the page. But since I feel like the page still looks kind of empty, I decided to use my black gel pen to add in some doodles. Other than that, I'm also going to add in some colorful sticker just to make it look a little bit more full. Moving on, I'm going to make the next spread which is going to be the year in a glance. It is basically the spread where you can see the whole year. And here I already printed out the calendar so I just need to stick it down. For the name of the day, I'm actually going to write it above washi tape. So here I'm sticking the washi tape on a piece of glass. And then I'm just going to cut it so that it have the same width as my calendar. And now I just need to write down the name of the day using my permanent marker. And after I'm done, I'm going to use my Corolla Super Tips and Black Gel Pen to write down the name of the month. I just simply repeated the step until I've completed all 12 months. The bottom part still looks kind of empty, so I decided to use my washi tape and also some stickers to decorate it. And as usual, to fill in the empty spaces, I'm going to use my Gold Gel Pen. 
Alright, so the urine gland spread is already done. I'm going to move on to the next spread, which is going to be my goals. For the corner, I'm actually going to use this pattern paper. It is very light, so there's almost no difference between the white color and the color of my pattern paper. So that's probably one of the mistakes that I had this time, but I still like the way it looks like afterwards. Here, I'm also adding washi tape on the top part. To write down my goal, I'm actually going to use this pink sticky notes because I feel like my goals will pop up more, so I decided to use it and here I'm sticking it on the center of the page. For the decoration, I actually used this circle washi tape sticker and also this really cute binder clip sticker because I think that it looks really good. And like what I did in the key page, for the title, I'm also going to use my letter sticker. To add in more decoration, I decided to use this really cute pastel theme sticker. The color is also pink and blue, so I feel like it fits the spread really well. I'm also going to add in some doodles, so here I'm going to use my Corella Super Tips and also my gold gel pen. After all of the doodles, the top corner actually still looks kind of empty, so I decided to stick on this Chinese character washi tape. So I'm done decorating the goals page, now I'm going to start decorating the next page. This page is actually going to be the random deco page. Since it is a deco page, it does not serve any kind of function other than making your bullet journal look prettier and also to make you feel happy whenever you look at it. That's why in making deco page, you can just decorate it however you want it to be. And here, since my favorite color is pink, I decided to make the spread to have a pink color theme. I actually used a lot of stickers and supplies to decorate this page, and I definitely had a lot of fun. Although this page does not serve any kind of function, but as what I said before, it actually makes you feel happy whenever you take a look at it, and I'm really proud on how it turns out because I really love the result. After I'm done decorating it with all of the stickers and washi tape, the next thing I'm going to do is to use my Sarasa milk pan to add in some doodles. Now, I'm going to make the last spread in today's setup, which is my 2021 happiness spread. This is actually a new spread and I've never used it before, but I'm planning on writing down the happiest moment from each month so that at the end of the year, I can take a look back at them. Here, I'm sticking on some boxes and each box will represent a month. So here, I'm writing down the name of the month, and after I'm done, I'm going to use my Corella Super Tips to write down the title. And afterwards, I'm also using my black gel pen just to make it look a little bit more clear. And since the corner still looks kind of empty, I decided to use my washi tape to decorate them. So now I'm done, this is what they look like afterwards. Now, the last thing I need to do is to put all of the spreads that we've made before into our binder. Here, I'm actually going to put in some sticky notes into the binder folder. And in the other one, I'm going to add in some memo pads. And then I'm going to proceed and put in every single spread that we've made. My binder actually comes with this plastic zipper pocket, so I'm just going to put in some stickers in it. And on the last page, I'm going to add in this note holder that we've made in my last video. Alright, so now I'm done, I'm going to show you guys a flip through of my 2021 bullet journal setup. So once you open up the binder, you will see this binder folder and this is where I keep some sticky notes that I think will be useful for my bullet journal and also this notepad which I can use to write some notes and put it at the back on my note holder. Behind the folder, I have this key page and if you flip it over, you will see the decorative page that we decorated before. Next to it, we have this year in a glance, so I split them into three page. And next, I have this goals page. It is still empty even up till now because I don't really know what kind of thing I would like to achieve next year. To be honest, I haven't really think about it. And the last spread is the 2021 happiness. I hope that next year I will be able to fill in every single box and make the year full of happiness. 
So those are the spread that I have in my 2021 bullet journal setup. By the way, on the back part, I actually have this note holder. I think that it is very useful because if I have some really important tasks to do, I can just take a look at the back of my binder without the need of opening up my binder. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please stay tuned for the last video in the Christmas time series. See you guys in my next video. Bye!